morning, your majesties. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have another scary haunted house story for you guys. Um, this one is called Swoden House in Los Angeles, California. Okay. This Mayhan revival home designed by Frank Lloyd Wright Jr., the son of the legendary architect Frank Lloyd. Wright towers over Franklin Avenue at the bottom of the Los Feliz foot, foothills. While it's unique and ar and ar and an archical character is certainly noteworthy, arguably the most interesting thing about the home isn't necessarily the block style facade, which was inspired by the menacing yet beguiling opening of a cave or an ancient tome, tomb. After it was built in 1926 for photographer Joan Swoden and his young family, the house enjoyed the years of hosting bohemian parties for Hollywood's and crowd. But when George Hodel moved into the house in 1945, his fate at the potential crime scene of America's most notor notorious cold case, the Black Dyla, was sealed through the murder of Elizabeth Short remains unsolved to this day. By 1950, Dr. George Hoddle became one of the prime suspects in her tragic case, and many true crime buffs are convinced that he carried out the crime right inside this iconic Lowe's Fields mansion. Jeez. Um, the home also went through a few stages of abandonment in the late 20th century, making it even more mysterious and spooky to passers-by. According to Steve Hoddle, former occupant retired LAPD investigator and son of Dr. Hoddle. Several, where am I? Several onlookers have noted its haunting trappings. According to Steve, in the 1970s, the Hoddle housekeeper returned to the Swoden house and informed the then current owner that this is a that this is a house of evil. And on another occasion, Endomin Teske pointed to the house saying it's an evil place. Artists for Solivers, accountants, and politicians all played and paid there. Murders happened there. It's an evil place during the same era. Dr. Hoodle's daughter, Tamar, went inside the home and claimed to see the spirit of a young woman in the basement years later in 2016. Wow. Um, Ghost Adventures host Zach Beggins investigated the swollen house with Tamara's daughter, Fiona, who claimed to see the exact same spirit her mother did. Wow, that's creepy. Um, let me know if you guys have heard of this story. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video but before I go I want to let you guys know you guys are going to be getting two extra videos from me this month an extra video this Saturday and next Saturday so I love you guys so much that's going to be it for today's video so if you're new here hi I'm Princess Peyton hit the red button to become your majesty and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video and I love you guys so much you guys are the best human beings ever made and you're the king of my heart and the song lyrics of Taylor Swift and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video okay love you bye Mwah.